All right, hey guys, I asked the whole family who wants to go try and find some yard sales on a Thursday morning, and guess who said they wanted to go? Whoa! Just one. Um, hopefully we find some stuff and we make some good content and we make some good money, uh, but there's no plan. We're just gonna go drive around in circles and see. Circles! Like, comment, and subscribe. I said subscribe! So I was explaining to Levi that uh, today was a total blind guess going out to try to find yard sales. And we didn't find any yet. So we came to Goodwill because it's always here. So we're finding some interesting things. Llama Llama books for 50 cents a piece. These would be kids books and their uh, flashlight series. Uh, these are Hardy Boys. You can also find Nancy Drew in that flashlight series and they do reasonably well for us. This I thought was interesting. It's $7. So we're going to look into that. We're missing book number two, but we have one, three, four, and five. And then over here... We have this Sony headphones thing that I think is probably good, but it doesn't have a price on it. And then I always buy CD storage. Felt like I saw something up here that was interesting. This is neat. I don't know that it is anything, but it's neat. This is cool. Wood and ceramic, if it was marked probably worth picking up this is cool and unusual but not worth anything levi found some bookends eh, they're just a little too generic if it was like bert and ernie or something maybe see and like this looks better than you know most things it's really heavy i'm gonna pick it up ten dollars we'll look into it no I used to pick these kind of things up all the time because you could sell the cabinets on Facebook Marketplace. Turntable would be good to pull out and sell separate, but then this is solid state. That is not what you're looking for if you're looking at console record players. Ahoy! That is sharp looking. Eight bucks. That would be a pain to Bruder. ship. That's a good point. It would be kind of a pain in the butt to ship. It would have to be worth quite a bit to be worth picking up. That might be a little bit of something. Those are in really nice shape. And they're Callaway branded golf shoes. Let's see how much they are. Six bucks. So the Callaways don't look like they're worth picking up, but these are unusual. Because they're enormous. Let's see what size they are. Size 16. I don't think I'm gonna mess with them, but they're neat. You don't see size 16 shoes almost ever. What'd you find, Levi? I found this two ball bowling, bowling rod. We haven't seen the price on it yet. How much is it? It is. It's, I think it's on the handle. On the, the plastic oh, handle. Six bucks. And the only one listed is a hundred shipping. There's a similar one sold for fifty. But it's a one ball bag. But then this, it's oh, uh, it's destroyed. The pad's completely coming off the bottom of it. If that wasn't the case, man. Not that the sold listings justify buying it, but the listed, the total lack of anything like it being listed even on Terra Peak, make it intriguing. And I'm like, on oh, the fence on it. But then with that damage, I think it's probably a pass, unfortunately. So Mark Almond, that's a good album. I don't know that. Um, if you're a fan of NCIS, this is Ducky when he was a young man, a recording artist. Uh, none of this is good. So this is, when it has a hole in it like that, normally means it's like a radio giveaway. This one's still sealed. So that's even more interesting. Okay, so you don't see Rob Zombie every day on the Goodwill rack. That makes it worth probably looking through some more. But there doesn't seem to be any other like metal or Y2K kind of music that would make these a good find. This is different than all 
maybe this is the rest of that collection. Lenny Kravitz, The Wallflowers, Bob Dylan's son, Jacob. Um, Big Willie style. So this is the era, but not the same genre. Yeah. So the Girl Scout cookie cart, we're going to end up putting back. There's six listed and they're around $50. And then there's one sold for $50 and one sold for uh, 10 bucks on bid. So I could probably list it for 40 and get it sold, but it is, it, it's going to be a pain in the butt to ship because it's so huge. I thought it might be an anomaly, a really unique thing, but it's not. So I'm going to, uh, we're going to put that back too. Not finding a lot, but if you've been with the channel for a couple of minutes, you know, I'm in this Goodwill all the time. And I always say, man, we're not finding anything. And then we find something. These are cool. It's too bad they're cut tags because they, uh, I can't tell what size they are. I bet they're five or six X, but they're, and they're not branded. Like this is Lego and Star Wars together. And this one is probably just Star Wars. Jawas, if you're familiar, those are cool. If I was doing whatnot, these might be the kind of thing to be worth picking up, but I think I'm going to leave them, but they are neat. What did you just say, Levi? And that's the reality of it sometimes. Like we went through and picked everything that we thought might be something and we comped it and we came up with one item. So we bought one thing at Goodwill, like my dad just said. These headphones, they were $3 and they sell for 30 with a 75% sell through rate. And they're, they're Sony branded, they're wireless and they are, um, uh, they're, they're, they're pretty high quality considering, and so it should be real easy to test, too. Uh, we drove through the part of town that has a lot of garage sales most of the time, and we didn't find any again. So we're all, So we stopped at the next Goodwill down the road. See what we can find. Levi is finding some stuff to tack on Titan and Pikachu snapback. That's cool. How much are they? Two sixty-four. That's a get. And five bucks. We'll have to look at that. One. Anybody need a vintage Minnie Mouse collection? Cause uh, they got one. <laughs> one. How much are they? Two sixty-four. Two sixty-four. Two sixty-four. What is this? You know, I like small appliances. Let's see. Nothing exciting here, I don't think. That Wells Fargo, that's okay. Propane stove was $5 at somebody's yard sale. That's $7 at Goodwill. And this is a cool little asparagus thing. It has one little chip in it. I don't know. There's one little flaw right there. Four bucks, probably not. Anything in what's supposed to be tools? Um, Doesn't really look like it. Very much tools. Very, very much tools. I didn't see a single tool. Yeah. So Levi's the only one finding anything. He picked these out while we were Fab New York, 551, little Mickey and Minnie coffee mugs. So this is weird because like there's three Mickeys listed, none sold. There's one, only one Minnie listed, none sold. And everybody's around the $10 mark on each, but nobody has the pair. That's something broke. Um, so let's see if there are any major flaws. I'm sure there's some little paint chip or something, but nothing that I see that's a big issue. So that's kind of a gamble because the sell-through rate is uh, indeterminate. So I think we're going to get them because they're just so cool and my wife will love them if they don't sell. She might even decide we're not going to sell them before I ever try to list them. And the sell-through rate doesn't matter at that point. So the Attack on Titan hat is worth about 10 bucks and it's, it costs five. So that's a big no. 
unfortunately. Levi wants to get this either way and it's only 250 and that's nothing. Okay. So this is gonna be a very not thrilling video, right? Just, uh, I found some headphones and Levi found some coffee mugs and that's all. Um, we'll drive around a little bit longer, but it's like 11.30, so yard sales are probably picked over if there are any. So this is a fun local mom and pop. I think they support a Lutheran church. Uh, so maybe we'll have some luck in here. What do you think, Levi? Is this gonna be better than Goodwill? Maybe. Hi. So Levi just found Bucky. He's two dollars because of the blue tag in his ear. He's new with the tags, and there's fifty listed and thirty-five sold. But it's probably ten dollars plus shipping. That's pretty cool. That's uh, when everybody was making Beanie Babies. So here we got a forty-eight by forty-eight Lego square for twelve, or no, for uh, three dollars, and it's probably. It's probably $15 shipped, but the sell through rate's like 250% or something. And Levi grabbed Bucky for two bucks and it's probably- The world's worst gas station. We went into one Bucky's once and it was like, you couldn't move crowded, but it was as big as a Walmart and nobody was impressed. So we ended up leaving without buying anything and it was crazy. But the uh, Bucky, sells for like we paid two bucks it sells for like 12 plus shipping and the sell-through rate on bucky's pretty good in case you're new and you don't know what i mean when i say sell-through rate i mean uh, let's pretend numbers because i don't remember what the numbers were on any of those things but like if there's a hundred listed and there's 75 sold that's a 75 percent sell-through rate there over the course of 90 days so if you look up comps on ebay you find what's currently listed if you type in solds, you find 90 days. What has sold in the last 90 days? There is a way on Terapeak to, which is a part of eBay's website, to find out what's sold in the last two years. But the easy thing in the app, you click the sold and it shows you that's the last 90 days. And so you can gauge kind of roughly, it's not like exact science, uh, how frequently these things sell, whether the market's oversaturated, because if only, 75 have sold in the last 90 days and there's 500 listed chances are good yours is not going to sell in 90 days and if you there's 200 sold in the last 90 days and only five listed chances are good yours is going to sell pretty quick um and i think there are people who get real married to that idea i want to have stuff with a good sell-through rate but like I'm not gonna calculate it down to a 66.25% sell-through rate because the market on the one-off used stuff, like that would make sense if you were Walmart trying to figure out how many to have produced for your store because this is the consistent rhythm of things selling that are brand new products and you have years of track record with it. But you like used one-off stuff, if it's between 60 and 70, I'm like, eh, it's a little bit above 50. If it's above 75, I'm like, it's pretty close to 100. Um, because you're selling one-offs and the people who bought it 90 days ago are off the market. So it's entirely possible the other ones all stay unsold. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a metric that's worth messing with, but it's not the end all be all on reselling. Levi's making weird faces. We got well, at least one more thrift store. If we don't find any yard sales, then we're headed home after that one. Okay, so we are at the Peoria Restore, which is Habitat for Humanity. And there are two restores. And this one is downtown in a more economically depressed area of the city. And their prices tend to be reasonable. And then there's one uptown that is like a joke. Holy crap, that sold this chair. I hope they got a bunch of money for that. Man, that is a cool piece. Don't touch it. Even here, the price on furniture is crazy. Um, and it looks like that. See, like $125 isn't a terrible price. If you're an antique dealer, you'd buy that. Um, but $50 for that chair. But this store tends to have a lot of weird random crap that I like and uh, it's more reasonably priced on the random trash stuff. Is this just a 
album? No, that's a record album. That's why records, record, why like this ended up getting called an album is because these were albums and they would each have one song on each side of these 78s. And then when you had five songs on each side of a 33, they called it a record album, even though it's only one record. VCR, that is a really heavy Sanyo forehead. That's probably a decent thing, but I got too much of that stuff and I don't want to mess with it. That's a big one, so you don't really want to mess with those. We uh, fit $50. It's not sealed. I don't think it's $50 here. Um, so I did, I've done okay on buying a Wii Fit in the box twice. Once it was sealed and I paid like eight bucks for it and sold for like 40. Then the other time it had the Wii in the crevice in the box. And so I bought it because the Wii was in there, but it was priced like a Wii Fit box. Both of those were at the same Goodwill in a different town at different times. And this is what I'm talking about with the random crap section. Like, lots of weirdness. I'm gonna look and I'll let you know if I find anything worth messing with. But there's a lot to see. Like, I haven't picked this up yet. But this looks really interesting. I don't remember what that is. That is a really cool thermostat advertising a furniture company, but you cannot send it in the mail, I don't think, because it's mercury. I'd have to reach out to somebody about that. So as it turns out, the red is alcohol and not mercury, and so you can send this in the mail. But you can't send mercury ones in the mail. Yes, that's a double-sided saw. So this would be like a heavy cross cut, and this would be a more fine cut. That's kind of a neat thing if you're going to use a handsaw. That is for a miter box, is why that doesn't have the curve to it. It does still have some print on it. That makes a lot of difference if you're trying to buy these saws as collectibles. That makes a lot of difference that it still has the design on it. Okay, and so this has Sears Value Craftsman, so that's cool. And then if you find one that has something like this, like a notch here, that's an older type saw that is really good. This might actually be a good saw. We're going to look into that one. So I have found really, really good glass here. I don't see any at the moment. The best coffee mug I ever got. Oh, a pogo ball. Fly bar. That's a pogo ball. We'll look it up. That's definitely iconic late 80s, early 90s toy. Let's see what else there is. That's really neat looking German thingy. Is that a Pokemon? A really old Pokemon? No. That's not a Pokemon? No. It looks like a Pokemon. It's McDonald's pony. Golfer's crying towel. <laughs> what else? Are you buying a pogo ball or not? Yeah. Um, so dad put the kibosh to the pogo ball because it is not worth picking up for resale. I wanted to keep it, he said no. They just have so much crap that they get thrown all over the yard all the time and never picked up. I was hopeful that this was going to be something there. It's 100% sell through rate and it's $13 plus shipping. It probably would only cost me a dollar here, but I don't know. You want to try it, Levi? No. <laughs> no. Well, that's a pretty cool looking fanny pack. Is it a fanny pack or is it a... No. What is it? Kinda. Maybe, I don't know. TLC can... canvas, like a music carrier of some sort. Okay, so what do you have in your hand? It's an epic rascal bobblehead. It is missing the nameplate that would have been stuck oh, in that nice. hole. Hmm, and his neck's pretty stretched out. So it's like 100% sell through, but it is they're in better condition. Um, and it'd be maybe 20 bucks. That's interesting. Both the groundbreaking thing and 
This uh what groundbreaking. Oh this is just painted. Thought it might be bronzed. It's much more dude perfect. This is the what these guys are doing is groundbreaking. Like for something to go up, like a new building or factory or something. But I'm not totally certain if I'm being way more picky than I used to be or if I'm just not finding much anymore, but I'm pretty frustrated at today. So the thermostat thing, they were asking a quarter. They didn't get it. I gave them a dollar because it was easier than waiting for the change. And they had free candy bars. They're organic dark chocolate with salted almonds. So maybe they're not worth anything and that's why they were free. But we'll find out. How was your candy bar? It, I, I, I can I throw up? <laughs> the salt is too much. Like the saltedness of, it's a dark chocolate, like a cacao kind of crazy chocolate. The almonds are okay. They're almonds, Absolutely. but the salt like really makes it unbearable. 